Great to hear the congregation in Bristol there. Now we have some wonderful performers on Songs of Praise and this lady has been entertaining us for many years with hits such as I Know Him So Well in January, February. Here singing a song from her latest album, Barbara Dixon. My song is love unknown My Saviour's love to me Love to the loveless shown that they might lovely be. Oh, who am I that for my sake my Lord should take frail flesh and die? Sometimes they strew program I told you about the recent Church of England survey that discovered that numbers attending weekly services had fallen to their lowest ever. It's dwindling numbers like that that cause churches like this to close. St Albans Acton Green in West London was empty for seven years. Now it's reopened as part of the Church of England's initiative to create a hundred new congregations in London by 2020. It's quite an ambition. The man tasked with achieving this is Bishop of Islington, the Right Reverend Rick Thorpe. I've never seen anything like this. Here at St Albans, they've come up with an unusual plan. But why have you got a tent indoors? Well, while they're fixing up the building, a tent means that the congregation can stay warm inside. Well, that's a novel way of solving the problem of no heating and a leaky roof. Bishop Rick, how do you create a new congregation where there isn't one? Well. In the Church of England, you need three things to start a new church. You need a bishop who says yes. Mm -hmm. You need a leader, like a vicar, who's going to go and lead the, the new thing. And then you need a group of people who are going to follow that leader and start something new. Um, welcome to St Albans this morning. Um, how are you all doing? And then that leader, the vicar, says, OK, we're going to um, encourage people to start coming. And services might start soon after that. And then once those things are happening, then you're up and running. And we want to recognise that there are lots of different groups of people in London who we're not connecting with. And so starting 100 new congregations is about saying, let's find those places, those people groups, those networks, and say, let's start a church for them. And St Albans has certainly found those family groups.
Well, this church didn't look like it had a future. It was uh, going to be converted into residential flats, some nine luxury flats. Um, but the local community uh, were up in arms about that, and 5,000 or so signed a petition to save the church for the community and to be a church again. Um, I've lived in the area a long while, mm -hmm. um, and it just felt very important to keep this as a local community space. It's a good place for mums and fathers to meet yeah. and basically get to know each other and it's a nice place for the littler kids to bounce around and have fun. What is it that excited you about coming over here? I guess it was kind of the blank canvas, so the opportunity to reopen it, start another congregation here and just put your own flavour on it really, and take it wherever you want to go. When they come in, hopefully they find a welcome and a community that they want to be part of. And then actually at the end of the day, what changes people's lives, what makes them stay is, is Jesus, it's the gospel. Uh, that's the same gospel that's been preached for thousands of years, but it still changes people's lives today. That's why people stay in church. That's about it for this week. Next week, Alan Jones encounters some Welsh pride in Port Talbot as he discovers how the community there is dealing with the future of their steelworks. Now we finish with a hymn that reminds us that although stars may change, faith endures.
Song to Praise is back next week at 4.15 while you can download Radio 4's Lent Talks with the iPlayer Radio app for personal and professional perspectives on the 40-day season. Here next, a couple spending time here and abroad want an escape.